Stop being stuck. In this video, we're going to cover a simple rule that can help you determine what to do. As you know, our biology is not perfectly suited for the everything always available lifestyle. Our brain, our hormones, our nervous system, all of these things work well in a more natural environment. In an environment where if sugar is available, it's a worthwhile pursuit to get it. However, in today's age, there are many occasions where people can make poor decisions that harm them in the long run. So we came up with a simple framework that you can use when making your decisions. The idea came from merely observing people, but especially their exercise habits. Many people have a hard time getting into the habit of routine movement. They seem to come up with all of the excuses out there as to why they can't go to the gym. But then when you ask in retrospect, how did they feel after going to the gym? They say they don't feel bad about going and they say they don't regret going. And that's even if they generally don't enjoy the exercise. Now, there are hormonal and other reasons at play here that we won't discuss right now, but just think about this for a second. They dislike exercising, yet they are happy that they've exercised. They feel better after the workout, even though they felt resentment towards the workout. And here's the key. It's how they felt afterwards. So here's the framework. When you have a decision to make, try to imagine how would you feel after having gone down on that specific path. For an example, let's say you have two different food options. First option is junk food. Second option is a healthy option. Your brain might tell you beforehand that the junk food looks more appealing. However, if we manage to stay objective, the healthy food option would create a better after feeling in your body. Or let's look at a different example about spending your time online. Option one, watch a movie. Option two, work on your business. Let's suppose you have the opportunity to pick both options and observe how you feel after each activity. What do you think you'll consider as the better option in retrospect? The content consumption or the work? In retrospect, more people than not feel better if they picked their business over a movie. Although watching a movie might be more fun moment to moment, in retrospect, most would consider building the business as not only more fun but also much more memorable. So, the next time you're about to do something, ask yourself quickly, will I feel good about this choice even after the activity? On top of that, you could ask, is there something better I could spend my time on that would result in a better feeling after the activity? We hope this little framework helps you make better choices in the future and that you will enjoy a better life because of it. Have you tried this? Do you have a framework of your own for decisions to make? Let us know in the comments below.